What's up guys? Today we got a really cool treat. We're back in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, just outside of Nashville with Tex Choice Truck. You guys remember Matt Sledge? If you hadn't, I'll put a card up here. Always got some hot deals and really low prices. <clears throat> so let's check him out. Come on. Well, we're back. Yeah. How are you, Mr. Matt? Man, I'm doing pretty good. I'm a little overwhelmed from the last uh, video. Woo, Clay. Did your phone blow up? Man, my phone blew up, man. And thank you guys, the ones that reached out to me. And uh, I hope I answered your questions. And if I didn't answer your questions, Tool Life is just a little bit busy. It's a little <laughs> bit busy, bro. It's, uh, it's hard. I'm still working it tonight, you mm -hmm. know? So. I want to go back here and, and make sure we get Drew on here. Guys. Drew don't have a mic on, but uh, I want to make sure Drew gets his his camera time because the ladies will be upset if we don't get Drew on there. He'll still be on there. Well, Clay, <laughs> thanks a bunch. We sold a whole lot and got a lot of exposure out there, man, but we're still in the tool business. We're still chugging right along. We, we're just on Drew's truck today. We're not on the uh, truck in Franklin. and. Um, Wearing it out, man, but business has been good. You would think we'd have a different president in there if we were, uh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry to get political there, but we, uh, you think we'd have a different president in there for people that buying as much as they have been buying. Sold three AC machines this Ooh, week. That was uh, a money. really good sale on the one, two, three, four YF. If you need those, by the way, I do buy those direct and can ship those anywhere in the country. Awesome. The Master Cool Commander 4000, they are on back order, but uh, holler at me and let me know. What you got, a Bobby Boucher's water bottle yeah, here? Yeah, this is the uh, a redneck water bottle. No, it's your brake, uh, your brake catching bottle for all your brake fluid. These right. are made by CTA. I don't remember the part number off the top of my head, uh, 7786 or something, but they, uh, two of them, $25 a piece, 50 bucks for the pair. So instead of squirting Shh. it all in the floor when you're right. bleeding your brakes, you can keep it clean. Yeah, keep it clean. Got a little better. promotion kind of going on. Drew, you have the uh, stud installers? Oh, yeah. It came with the pliers. Got a promotion going on that uh, was out this week. If you buy the stud installers, you get these you get these nice gear wrench new pit bull pliers pit in stock. So the pit bulls are meant to work in a certain fashion where oh, man, they work really great, don't they? I sold one individual, <laughs> so I don't have it. Yeah. So uh, but the pit bull pliers come free with the stud installers. Got some uh, other good deals on some Milwaukee uh, strippers. I know you guys have seen these before. I think they're 36 online or something. I'll make you guys a fantastic deal. I'll do them for $25 if you want them. I think I got about five. Cool. You know, hit, hook me up like three or four dollars shipping and I'll- uh, So Matt will sell you a good stripper at a cheap price. A good it stripper. It almost sounds too good to be true, right? A good stripper and a good dyke. And he only takes ones. Yeah. So you have to mail yeah. him ones. For sure. You got to pay him <laughs> ones, but you got to come in and throw them like this right here, man. That's it. About any which way you can. Sounds I do. Like, sounds like that's experience talking. I can't lie, man. I've been there. I'm a dude. <laughs> been there twice, right? I had to go because- First it, and last time? I had to go because it was a bachelor party. There you go. You know, that's the way I talk my wife that's into it. That's a good it. excuse. Yeah. That's the way I talk my wife into it. Drew, your truck is really uh, stocked out, man got a lot of stuff on here hey something that i do want to get rid of and i'll tell you guys this week i don't know if your tool man has a lot of these on his truck but this is what they call the milwaukee metal cutting saw okay you can look this thing up man it's all over the map uh i actually have two of them in stock i'm willing to sell it for my cost okay i will charge a shipping but i don't know i mean it's pretty heavy maybe 18 20 dollars to ship it 4.99 I'll ship that to you. I think it's five something from Northern Tools. So okay. anybody in the fabrication business, you guys need something like that? Uh, the Milwaukee bit driver, also on sale. Got is these. that the regular one or the Surge? This is the regular one. I think okay. you just posted the other one. This is the 2553-20. Two, two five five okay. Do those for uh, 129 So those have been a popular seller. Mm -hmm. My Milwaukee stuff has been really, really hard to get. Have you been hearing that from anybody else? Yeah. 
Uh, the promos and stuff are starting to kind of disappear. I talked to Milwaukee this week and they said that the fourth quarter, which is going into November and December, all their stuff's jacked up, man. They can't get, can't get chips to put in these batteries mm -hmm. and the promotions are just about gone. Although if you're looking for a weed eater, I have found a pretty good deal on a few weed eaters left that are in inventory. And if you'll contact me, I can get one of them shipped out to you really, really cheap. I think 379 for the okay. kit. Now All it comes right. with the 8.0, the weed whacker, the charger, everything all in one hit one kit direct drop ship so i've got a few in stock but i know where i can find them and get them a little well, bit well last time was here you demolished everybody's price on the 2020 streamline so yeah you they're all got gone to have you gotta yeah, have right. another ace in the hole what's what's gonna be another blowout bargain price that everybody will uh, everybody well will. you gotta have something on here because you, you got wedge? too much stuff here no so the wedge was the biggest hardest light to get yep. and i just got four of them yesterday uh i'm selling those for 119 dollars. i don't know what other tool mm -hmm. trucks are doing on them um been blowing them out but i can't get them this light right here was the hottest light on the market and what i sell you one for clay i don't remember it was like way cheaper than anybody it was like else. 139 one, yeah, was or like 130 something yeah 139 something like that, yeah. i think i sell this on my truck every day for like 180 bucks Somebody reaches out to me on a coon video and they get that special price. I think we can do 139, right? Well, I know I got on here and the first thing I said is, man, I need some rope ratchets. And Matt's like, dude, I'm out. They're all Those gone. Are the greatest. And for you guys that don't know what well, they are, here's what, here's what they look like. And if you guys are a tool man and you can quit sending me questions, because I got more questions on this than I did on anything else. <laughs> these are carried from a company called Carolina North. Quit calling me. Quit calling me asking me where I get Those these unless you want to buy some. Awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome right there. But no, so. I did. I sold a lot of, uh, and, and if you're an individual mechanic and you're wanting to buy them, sorry. You, won't, you don't have a business license, they won't sell to you. So yeah. you are going to have to get them from your tool truck guy, or you can get them from me. The ones that weigh 150, the ones that pull 150 pounds of weight, I think on my last video I called it foot pounds, but the ones that pull 150 pounds of weight are like $12. $12.99, something like that is what I sell them for. This one right here in particular pulls 500 pounds of That's a of weight. That's right there. It's got a 15 foot string on it. It sells for like 32 bucks. But yeah. a great tool to hold up a caliper or hold a wiring harness back, mm -hmm. hold up a headliner, uh, anything you want to do with the tool, it, it works out really, really good. Absolutely. Yeah, so man, just it's been really, really hot. We don't just sell Milwaukee. I mean, we sell everything. We even have uh, some tools on here from a from a guy you guys might know. Go. I'm gonna plug his name again. <laughs> who you think it is, Nick? I, I, I mean, I, who do you think it yeah, is, it's, Clay? It's gonna be Nick. Oh man, oh JD Tico. Yep. Oh JD Tico even sent us some uh, wire piercers down. He's pri mm -hmm. private labeling these. And hey, we're not a hater. If you're making some tools and you want them sold on Text Choice, we'll sell them for you. I mean, there's money to be made out here from everybody. So, but like this three pack pair of uh, Hose pinch off pliers? Yep. Yeah, 20 bucks, man. 20 Can't bucks. We have actually, we took uh, Nick and we cut his throat a little bit. Uh oh. And Nick will be happy about this because uh, we're plugging his name, but we're also doing stuff at a deal. If you buy these, they're 20. If you buy the wire piercers, they're 20. And if you buy the back probe, they're 20. Okay. But if you want all three, and Nick won't like this, we'll sell them to you for 50 bucks. There you go. 50 bucks for all of them. 10 bucks off. Speaking of getting something free, any pivot light that you buy, I think this is going on to the end of this month and this is over with. Uh, if you buy the pivot light, $99. I think it's almost that at Home Depot. You get a $40 battery with it also wow. free. Cool. So there's always some good uh, good promotions. I was trying to think of uh, the newest thing out and Drew didn't have it today. It's the new Milwaukee 12-volt uh, blower. He sold it. And sold I, and done I his job. You and I shamed him for doing job. the best job. Drew, Drew, I'm, I'm going to say you did good. You did your job. You right, sold the tool. Like, you did good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to say right now, since you got that oh, many of those lights right. down there, Dude, you need to Clay, move them. Thanks for doing this right here, man. This is 1,500 lumens. Uh, I bought 25 of these, guys. I bought 25 of these. These sell on my truck, man, for $129. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a Clay Coon special. Okay. All right. $79. I'll ship it to your house. No charge. Now... 
you want to buy it cheaper, we'll have to work. Uh, we'll have to work go. on the shipping. But this is a fifteen hundred lumen light. Uh, I think Home Depot has them for ninety nine dollars. But wow. to have a tool truck, get them for twenty dollars cheaper than the yeah, Home Depot. Twenty dollars cheaper than the Home Depot. And so, that's shipped. That's shipped. I'm paying the shipping, and they're going to come right here. So one of you four or five lucky guys will get one of these right here. Man, I need to just keep digging here. Yeah. Just keep coming up with I'm going to tell deals. you something, Clay, before we leave. You need some new uh, gloves. It's about to be winter. Oh. These are made by Mechanics Wear for the okay. gear wrench. They, let me tell you a little secret. Let me hear it. All right. Like, you, you understand how life works. You know, a guy works hard for his money. 100%. You don't like to get ripped off, right? Right. Well, I did a video. I bought some snap-on gloves that had the D30 foam in them for yeah. the impact or whatever. And, oh, man, they're the best gloves ever made, right? Right. I get them in there, start using them. When I pull them off, guess what labels on the inside of them? Mechanics wear. Yeah. Yeah. And I bought a pair from Napa. That's exact. Yeah. Anyway. I, th I think it's awesome that you can go to uh, AutoZone and find snap-on products, mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. Yeah. Right so right. I wasn't too happy about that because it was like seventy bucks, and then the ones at the the hot Napa was like twenty five bucks. Oh so. yeah, yeah. So all right, so let's get back to the gloves. Yeah. I'm sorry. Back when to gloves, man. They got the gear wrench. I think these are somewhere in the thirty five dollar category, something like that. Don't hold me to it. Now they look a lot like those high dollar Napa gloves. Well, they're the impacts, man. They're like the impact too. So yeah, they're really, re there. they're really, really nice. You can spend ninety bucks and get your or eighty bucks and get your yeah. set of snap ons or you. I need to let you, you, need, you guys can leave. Now. You guys can leave us in the comments. Let me know. There's some cross up about what people are thinking about the new gear wrench logo and they're doing I want to hear your comments I want to hear what you have to say when gear wrench went to this orange speaking of this product this is awesome but when they went to this orange and black platform right. um, people don't like orange and some people love orange mm -hmm. and some people like yellow some people like red but I've had mixed reviews over this well I can tell you this much it don't matter what you do in life you ain't never gonna make nobody happy. No, it's true. <laughs> well, I wanna read you your comments and I wanna, I wanna know happy. what you say. But if you're asking why this product is so nice and you guys don't see a tool truck all the time, you know, let me explain to it, explain it to you. So it's a wrench rack. Right. Everybody needs them in your, in your box. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about these, and I don't know if you've seen them, Clay, is if any which way you want to adjust your wrenches, oh, you the wrenches are uh, reversible. That's so cool. if you want your wrenches to face this direction, mm -hmm. you can face them that way. If you want them to face this way, you can face them that direction. So you maximize the space in your toolbox. Yeah. You know. Well, then you can spin it around, have the wide side to the front on right. one and the wide side to the back on the other, but you can turn the inserts around so you can read the freaking sizes right. on all of them. So when you like put the it, rest of them that's backwards. When you put it in your box, this is how it's going to come. Right. And also there are two color codes too, gray mm -hmm. and black, so you find out you got metric and standard. But hey. Twenty twenty nine dollars, man. Twenty nine nice. bucks. Who who can keep up? You buy one wrench rack. I used to work for Cornwell guys, and you've probably seen that on the other video. One wrench rack, Cornwell's like eighteen nineteen dollars. It's double reversible, interchangeable. It's twenty nine well, bucks, man. Well, speaking of colors, it seems like everybody, or most everybody, loves green. They love green. I see you got a whole bunch of green down there. So oh yeah, man. Those are brand new, deal, man. man. So you got I too saw, many of them. You need to move I them. saw these at a tool show a while back, and I got on this lady, and I tried to buy her booth within the first five minutes when I got there. So Snap-on carried these for a little while, and they were the only ones to get the tri-stub right. wrench rack, uh, socket rack. What he's talking about, that way you can have your shorts, your mediums, and your deeps yeah. all on one rail. So this is a four-piece set, and it's hard to even hold. These are like $16 on the truck individually, mm -hmm. but you can get this whole package. For 49 49 dollars is that the only one you got i can probably drop ship it well we just got a load of them in the other day and uh drew drew did his job again and sold them so you're gonna ship them for 49 bucks uh maybe if i can get the warehouse if i place an order that day and you call me that day that i place an order they'll drop ship anything my minimum drop ship fee is generally a hundred dollars but you know if you call me on a tuesday and i place an order on a tuesday I'll or still, what about this? I'll still drop ship them to you. Why don't you let guys call you and go ahead and order it, and then if it's Wednesday, they gotta wait till the next Tuesday. Yeah. Like that's fair if it saves them as much. I can work with the, uh, 
I can work with the warehouse distributors on that. So, there we go. We're saving you guys all kind of money. Yeah, like, trying to. You'll eventually end up with a free toolbox, so all money you're saving. Well, we did give away a toolbox one time. Yeah. All you tool men want to know this. I picked one item. I picked a long set of screwdrivers, which I picked something that no one had really owned. And my cost on them was like $18 or something. So, but I bought, I think, 150 you guys are going to correct me on the math but i bought 150 and i sold them for 40 dollars a piece so it was basically like selling 40 it was basically like selling 150 raffle tickets at 20 dollars mm -hmm. a piece well that added up to the amount i didn't make any money on the screwdrivers but a guy that bought a pack of screwdrivers got One a snap-on toolbox. toolbox for free That's a four thousand dollar toolbox for free so that's a pretty good gamble kind of a books. good little promotion it worked out pretty well and it got me paid for the toolbox i was trying to sell before you know and i got paid all at once i didn't have to finance it well do you have any of the nipex twin grips because that seems to be the hottest thing uh, everybody wants and I sold them that day. yeah the twin that's grips everybody wants. yeah they're 47 dollars from us and they're just not shipping them you know yeah. they're just not shipping them uh, I keep picking on socket racks. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit picking on that. Well, you got a bunch of test lights. You must have a special deal on. Yeah, we do have a really good deal on this one right here. So this is a uh, test it? light that's digital, okay. and you can uh, let's see if we can turn this battery thing on right here, and I can demo it real quick. But you uh, clip this dude in, and it'll actually read out if it works correctly. Let's see if this will boost. Is it grounded? Uh, that uh, no co, it may not work. Well, I don't think, but I do have battery. something over here, Clay Coon. I do have a, you got I do a have walkie a, battery. I do hot. have a test plug over here. So here you go. Does this work? Oh my lord! Uh -oh. What in the world? I'm so sorry to do this demo, guys. It's not this. <laughs> I promise. I think <laughs> this, I. This I, shows I think, that it ain't I, scripted. I think I blew this by blowing the fuse in my Summit truck. Well, you got a 12 volt Milwaukee battery, don't you? That's a terrible demo. I'm sorry, guys. I won't do that right there again. So I'm assuming by the look of it, is it light up red for? It does. Hot it changes green colors, ground? and it'll tell you the voltage on it. So mm -hmm. it reads the voltage out. It's about like a real cheap power probe, and they're thirty-two dollars. Thirty-two dollars. And for Ooh. thirty, you know, for thirty-eight dollars, I would ship it to you guys. You know, power probe has got the new. Uh, what's that new? power probe out called the mentor or the uh, maestro maestro that's one pretty, thing that's i noticed hot. that you got i bought one of these and i absolutely love it okay right but nobody keeps the second add-on yeah and for you guys that don't know what these are these are the coolest things ever all right so the body will tell you the ambient temperature so you can set it on top of the car you put this wireless probe in, say, the front of the SUV. It'll tell you what's coming out of the front vent. And you put this one in the rear vent, and it'll all read out on the screen. Mm -hmm. So, What do you think this tool should normally sell for with all I that technology? I, now, I don't have this one, but I think I paid 70 bucks for mine. Dude, no, I'm not kidding. It's 30 This is $39. These are 19 bucks. Yeah. So I bought mine <laughs> off the Mack truck. But, right. you know, I did get it, in all honesty, when it first came right. out, though. But... These things are awesome, guys. Like, well worth the money. Mm -hmm. And I tell you something else that I use it for. What's that? I was adjusting the temperature in my beer fridge because I did a little research. Are you filming telling that? Yeah. Because <laughs> this is important. Like, <laughs> beer drinking is make a sure your beer is important. cold, man. <laughs> beer won't freeze at 32. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't know that. You can crank it down to 26 before beer will for or 28 I'm and sorry. i like to get a beer with a little bit of frost on the top 28 of right so i put that in the refrigerator and i kept adjusting everything till i got it down to where it was dead on 28 degrees wow and i didn't have to open the door and it you know change the hmm? you're gonna sell out of those tomorrow because i never knew that clay and yeah. do you think there's any mechanics out there that drink beer no, a, a bunch I think of I'm the only guy that drinks beer. Anyway, yeah, right? and we're going to drink some of it tonight whenever we go to the restaurant. Clay said he was buying my dinner, and That's he's it. actually doing a video for me, which is kind of crazy. You got a set of wheel bullets, uh, Clay? I don't, no. You I probably don't work them. on anything European, do you? I don't, but if I did, I'd own a set of them you because would? it's well, a pain. That I've worked on and it sucks holding that wheel up there. You get the, you know, the lug. Guys, you ever try to hold a started. wheel up and you're trying to put the wheel on and it's a Euro wheel and you forgot the lug nuts because the lug nuts are the studs? Mm -hmm. uh, don't mess around. If you're a Euro guy, buy these. They're $36. 
screw them into the rotor, go get your wheel, slide it on, properly line up your stuff, or you'll be buying like a rethreader kit or something for me because you're going to get them screwed up and you're going to cross thread them. I know you got some Euro guys on here that are probably going to be like, I've been doing it 20 years, I don't need those. But, you know, if, uh, if you just try a new tool every now and then, man, it might change your life for, you know, freaking 30 bucks. Absolutely. So, you know, do you have a set of tap extractors? I mean, yeah. Wilton. Wilton makes those tap extractors, mm -hmm. and uh, I was going to show that off because that's kind of a kind of a unique tool. Um, oh, yeah, 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 actually I do. Yeah. I know what you're talking about, finger thing. I tell you, you got one thing up here that's worth its weight in gold. Oh, wow. And hey, dudes, these things Man. have been on back order for a minute and don't even try to buy one right now. Guys, they're, this uh, right here, I'm gonna let Matt explain it because he's a salesman. He'll sell it to you better than I will. What's but a, this right here, some redneck took a caulking gun apart and figured out how to make a brake pedal depressor or a clutch depressor. Throttle depressor. Or throttle mm -hmm. depressor. And he's probably sitting on the beach drinking my ties right now, but mm -hmm. I'm proud he did it because this thing is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, I wish I would have entered. Uh, wish I would have invented this tool. I sell the crap out of them. They're uh, they're really really nice. They are quite expensive. I think on the tool truck now, this tool is like fifty dollars, and there's nothing to it. But the way that I get people, I don't ever get them. But the way that I introduce them to this tool is. Um, the chemical guys come by and they say to do a throttle and uh, throttle body cleaning job or to do mm -hmm. a um, fuel injector cleaning job. You have to run the car at 2000 RPMs for 20 minutes. Right. Well, for 20 minutes, you should just buy this tool because yeah. for 20 minutes, you can almost do the brakes on the front, front end of exactly. a Honda Odyssey. If you guys work on Odyssey, those brakes are so easy to do. But the, uh, yeah, you put this on adjust your throttle to 2000 rpms walk away get something else done mm -hmm. or you ain't got a buddy to check your uh, brake lights you know yep. get on here and on put that put that down walk around the back of the car and check it and you don't have to have any helping hands and if you're a real redneck cruise control so <laughs> you can put yeah. it under here and uh you can get under there and you can Crank cruise control down. that thing however fast you want to go man so now when i seen that i thought man i could use that for a lot of stuff and yeah. you will be surprised at how many times you'll use that tool for stuff that it ain't even thought about being used right. for, like at all. Right. Because I know, like, we've all been there. Chevrolets are the worst. The door pin bushings are bad. Oh, on yeah. One. You're trying to work underneath the dash and the damn thing's slamming you in the butt the whole time. Right. That right there, you stick it on the steering wheel. Turn it out, push it against the door panel. Yeah. Holds it out. You ain't got to worry about it. Or get a rope ratchet and hold the door open. There you go. Clay, you well, see you me Well, you can't buy a dang rope ratchet. All two guys out of rope I know. Hey, look. You're the only I'm two guy I knows that calling, sells I'm it, calling. so you we fall in that category. We're using it, so. Yeah, we're using this one, so it's not it's not for sale. <laughs> don't don't try to make me an offer. I know what I got. Yeah, so I'm going to get some more. I'm going to call Caroline North. I'm going to call them tomorrow and get hooked up with them. Uh, do you see a lot of guys buy this? I, our Matt guy had one on the truck, and Did they're he? pretty cool. That's yeah. the first time I ever seen one, though. Yeah, the funnel buddy, man. Yeah. It is expensive. It's American-made, made by white, white side creepers. But, man, I'll tell you what. You could use this thing for a redneck urinal. <laughs> you could use this thing to protect hey, your... I piss more than a cord. I'm just going to throw hey, it out there. Hey, man, I'll tell you what. You put this dude down right here, and you do it, and you can cover up the smell from it, bro. I'm telling you what. Hey. So, seriously, for you guys that don't know, you mount this on the wall, mm -hmm. and when you get your funnel... When you get through using your phone, it's always got fluid inside that drains out and it always makes a mess. You know why I like it? I like it because you always know where your funnel's at. If you put it back. Well, everybody throws their funnels everywhere in the yep. shop and everybody uses it. But if that's your contraption, that's your funnel and nobody else touches mm -hmm. it. And it's clear. And you can buy every part for it individually if you break it. It all drains down and goes in this quart bottle and you just empty the quart bottle and yeah. boom, you're oh. done. Let me talk about this right here real quick, guys. I have a butt ton of these in stock. This is part of what I got. What is that, I, gear inch, this is the gear inch, inch quarter inch universals. Six point. Six point. Yeah. So okay. I bought a bunch. And they're in the computer for one twenty nine or one thirty two, something like that. I'll ship these just like I told you I'd ship you those lights for free to your house. 80 bucks. 80 bucks. Yeah. That's the buddy price. $80. You send me a Venmo, you send me a Cash App, or you send me a PayPal or whatever. $80. I probably got 15 left. 
Uh, if you're an aircraft mechanic, you're going to wear it out. You probably want that in 12 point if you're an aircraft mechanic, but six point, really, really nice. I know I'll sell all those. But well, you got to tell everybody your phone number because everybody's going to be like, wire, and, and, and Clay, wait, I got to be wait, real wait, careful on that phone number. Out. Before we even put the phone number up here, I'm going to send you a preview of this video before it goes live. I need you to comment. This is my phone number. This is my cash app. This is my Venmo. Because if not, it'll be like all. What's, I want to buy that light. Well, how do I get out to Matt? Well, I want to buy that. Oh light. yeah. So. Well, are you are you back on? Yeah, you're, yeah. we're waiting on you now. Jeez. I'm not even going to cut none of that out. Oh, you are. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, last one of these. You, what, what what do you want to let this go for, Drew? Name a promotion. Dude, I haven't sold one of those. Just came out. So I sold well, I've yet. had it on my truck for a little while. No, I, I just, uh -oh. The Power Probe soldering iron. It's battery operated. Okay. I don't believe it's rechargeable. Well, it does say it's rechargeable. Hello. That's what you get with a salesperson. You don't really know his product before you actually sell it. No wonder he ain't sold the damn thing, right? No wonder I hadn't sold it. Well, That's I've why never, he ain't sold it, Drew. He's like, y'all better buy some AA batteries. I've <laughs> never plugged. I've not, I'll be honest with you. I've never plugged it up. I think they're 120 bucks. I'll sell that. $80 shipped to your house. Just get rid of it, man. Let it go. go. I, I sell the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee you can't beat. It's really, really nice. But hey, back to the phone number. Y'all keep your questions uh, slim, okay? Just because call him the, if you want to buy tools. The last time that? I put Just my phone number out, to buy tools. I got a lot, a lot, a lot of business. And I love the business. And thank you so much. And the guy in Chapel Hill that bought a scanner from your last video, Clay, I need to buy your dinner tonight. So what a great guy because I know he watches your show. I'll buy the dinner. You buy the beer. Hey, that's a pretty good trade-off. But that could... That could go south drinking will, with you. I will take. I will. I speak. So I'll take that bed. You'll, any day. you'll be using. You'll be using one of these right here. I'll be throwing yeah. a big old, uh, a big old funnel down Clay's throat. But anyway, check it out. My phone number is 615-596-7012. Text me if you don't get in, in touch with me, and you can call me up until about eight o'clock. But I have a family Central life time. too. Central time. Central time. Yeah, I have a life too. And if you want to call Drew, Drew gets a commission off of everything that he sells. I would call Drew first. Yeah, throw Drew on the Because bonus. Drew's the one that gets paid. Now, he don't know the backdrop of the tool business like I do. I've been in it 20 years. Drew's in it like four years. Hey, don't rag on the man. He sold the weed eater today. I mean, he did. Hey. Yeah, I'm mad at him for actually selling tools. No, I'm not. But if you want to get in touch with Drew, he's 615 987 5 Seven seven seven. So yeah, he's got a lot easier phone number to remember than mine. But mine's five nine six seven zero one two area code six one five. Or you can reach me on email if you don't want to bother me. I'm better at text, but email. The email is text choice. T e c h s c h o i c e at gmail dot com. Text choice at gmail dot com. Text choice at gmail dot com. And that's. Yeah tools the text choose. Hey, right. you're a good memory. You make the right choice, that's the text choice. That's it. Yeah. I gotta give you props now. Drew's looking pretty snazzy over there. Hey. And the new colors and the shirt looking well, like some Seahawks going on over there. I like it. Let's go. I, I say it looks like a record driver. But let me know let me know what you think about that versus this. This is mechanic shirts. This is kind of loud, but you know the green is hot and it's just yeah. kind of a way to Drew looks like a stud. You look like you should be changing oil. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I look like I'm I should be kidding. in the office with these. Like right you here. really do look really professional, and Drew's looks professional and sporty. That's how I'm gonna throw it out there. Good it looks job, good. Drew. I like it. I like it. It looks good. It's yeah. Clean. We'll have our winter line out next month. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we listed some products, and we got some really good things out there. Oh, hey, listen. I sell the absolute crap out of these, man. This is a half horsepower die grinder, guys. Don't screw with your die grinder from your other Mac or, or Snap-on or any of those guys. I had a guy come on the truck this week. No, it was last week. He bought a die grinder from Snap-on guy for $200. And I know your Snap-on guy is really cool, mm. and I don't want to pick on him, but it is my competition. This one's $80. $80. Yeah, $80. Whew. And uh, I can drop ship that to you, too. But it's a half horsepower, rubber insulated. Your hands won't get cold. Super, super nice. I could talk about tools all day long, Clay, but, <laughs> you know, I know I know you came down here and shot a video, and, and uh, I always want to make it interesting. And if you see you comments do. of and something. You've, and you've thrown out some really good prices. Yeah, so. yeah. Durablox, body guys. Let's don't, leave the Dura, let's don't leave the body guys out of this thing, man. We got we got Durablox with Hook It. Uh, we got body guys with Hook It. 
And then we got body guys with stick it. And yeah, we got both. And I tell you what, if you buy this right here, guys, I'll throw in two free bars of soap. Just kidding. It comes with it. So <laughs> I was just, like, that thing was sealed. Come yeah, on. <laughs> no, two free bars of soap. But hey, I'll tell you what, that soap is some of the best soap you'll ever buy. You're a scrub, ain't it? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually. It says it right there. Look whoa, there. hang on. It gets better. It's three bars three of soap bars. is this. Three. So three bars of soap. And it comes with a clown on the box. Yeah. Who does Insane that? Insane clown right? posse, man. Yeah. All right, guys. We showed a lot of cool tools and a lot of good prices and got to hang out with Matt. But me and Matt and Drew is fixing to go eat and drink a lot of beer. Like, so if you're on their route tomorrow, I apologize. But if you talk really loud, you'll probably get some good deals because they want you to shut up and get off the truck. If you're looking for something <laughs> interesting you see on someone else's truck and you don't know if they can get it, send me an email, dude. Send me a text. There you go. I'm pretty competitive, except for my buddy up north. My buddy up north, I love him, but I'm gonna let him. He's working real hard on YouTube, so I'm gonna let him. <laughs> I'm gonna let him do what he's got to do. Do his thing. Yeah. All right, guys. Like always, get a hold to Matt. Get a hold to Drew. Buy some good deals, like 80, bu 80 bucks for that light. Like it's 99 at Home Depot. You can't beat it. Like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that Click button. the button, man. Click the button. You guys have a great week. Catch you later.